back. We're live. No, we're not. We are back. And we're live. Weekly, not live. We're sort of live. Okay, to uh, everyone listening, or, well. The, well, the, the people who are listening. The few the that few. listen. Here's the deal. <laughs> Speed Society is going to be hosting all of these podcasts. You're going to be seeing a ton from these guys. I, like they're yeah. how big are they, Sean? Uh, it's the biggest automotive website in the world, and I mean they got a lot of cool shit. Yeah, we're stoked to be working with guys like that for sure. Anytime we can align ourselves with other huge automotive people, this is perfect. So also, stop listening now and go and like it and comment on it. And the sooner you do that, hopefully, the more podcast episodes you'll hear yeah go ahead yeah the crow 405 murder nova midway street cars like it comment on us tell us who you are tell us why you listen to it keep this going please there are people that are, don't want this to keep yeah, there's going people right now trying to make trying to put it into this they, they so, don't want us on the air and we got guys like speed society that want to help us keep it going so welcoming us let's do it rock and roll help everybody out and while you're there check it out their website's awesome well it's Tuesday. Tuesday, right? Let's just go with Tuesday. It's pretty much Close Tuesday. Enough. I mean, is it's, it not? It's Tuesday. What is today, guys? It's Tuesday. Isn't it like March or something? Yeah. yeah. March, Tuesday, the yep. 16th. <laughs> yep. Well, it doesn't matter which day it is because we're in here and we're doing the damn podcast. Uh, and I don't feel like we've been very late often, so we can be a little late today. Yeah. I mean, normally they're right on time. So yeah. today we have. Every uh, Tuesday. For your listening pleasure, because it definitely wouldn't be for your viewing pleasure, but for your listening pleasure, we have myself, the chief. We got Sean to my right. Yeah. We got Monkey across from me with the microphone looking like a giant, dark, urban wiener ready to be inserted. In. Really weird looking. Ready, ready to down throw it. And then uh, we have McDougal. Yep. With my Mc, Mc, my Justin microphone McDaniel, looking right, aka yep. McDougal, aka flashlight, aka race car, aka, AKA McDouche. McDouche. I think you called me Roller Girl one time. AKA Roller Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when you changed my name to Roller Girl? <laughs> oh, on the AKA, internet. Yeah. AKA flashlight. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait a minute. No, hang on. Hang on. I have a, <laughs> hang on a second here. Hang on. I remember the second. Roller Girl. Intergalactic <laughs> moderator Intergalactic. was your name too. Oh. <laughs> AKA He's had so many AKs. McDougal, tell tell us why you're AKA Roller Girl. <laughs> well, well, I've become the intergalactic moderator on our beautiful website, Midwest Street we had Cars. A, yeah, we had a website called Midwest Street Cars, and there was a forum, and it was about street racing and 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 you know all everything else Good in times. between. Well, he he and messed he around. Big, he was a big part of the website. He messed around and gave me some administrative privileges, <laughs> and I found out how to go into other people's <laughs> profiles and change things on them. <laughs> so I went into Big Chiefs and put a big old dorky picture of him doing some hand gestures right in front of his face. <laughs> and he got a little upset about it, and he changed my name every other day to a new name <laughs> until he got to Roller Girl and he just left that for a long time. And they took my privileges away, and I couldn't change it. <laughs> yeah, I remember you were SS Blazer for yeah. a long time. I was SS Blazer. I had like 70,000 smites. Joe Dirt, you yeah. roller girl. Smites. I forgot about smites. smites. Yeah, we had a, on our website, you could you could smite people. So I had you, way more likes than if smites. If you didn't, you had me. likes and smites. And every time you put something on there that people agreed with, they could like it. And then if they didn't agree with it, they would smite you. And <laughs> it became just as cool to have as many smites yes. as it did to have as many likes. So... I had like a hundred likes and seventy thousand smiles. I remember yes. one time. I remember. I remember one time. I was. Uh, I don't remember what had happened, but I was stuck in the house for two or three days, and I just fucking sat there. Like no matter what, I, even if I was eating a sandwich, watching TV, whatever, my other hand was clicking that smite button just <laughs> just for three days straight, just to see how many how many smites I could give him in one day. God, that shit was. Fun. It was a good time. Yep. Yeah, people. Yeah, we should have hated a you. You know, people don't understand that you're a troll. We all know you're a troll. You're you're my number one troll. I mean, obviously, like I, I feel like you're one of the best trolls that there are. He's good, and but they don't understand that you're a troll from way back. You was trolling oh, yeah. before trolling was cool. Yep, back when sniping from the trees was trolling. Oh, sniping man. from the trees that was punkin. Yep. Punkin. Yeah, punkin. he thought he thought he was slick. Remember, thought Kam nobody's gonna know. Kamikaze. Uh, he came in as a secret thing for some in yep. the bushes. He was in the bushes or something. Yeah. And he he was in the bushes and the comic card and then Punkin was sniping from the trees and yeah yeah people yeah, would, 
Who? He broke your fucking Yeah. Oh no, I, I do. I do believe Punkin got in a couple actual fisticuff fights because of the website. How'd those work out for him? <laughs> well, you know, I, listen, <laughs> hey, listen. I've known I've known Punkin since I was probably 15 years old. Okay, and the one thing I can say about that kid is he ain't never been. Scared to get his ass whipped. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that mean, that that'll go a long Dude, way. Yeah, I mean, that means a lot. I'm That's not, better yeah, than just yeah, being a pussy. I'm yeah. not saying he can fight, and I don't think I've ever actually heard him claim that he could fight, or that he was good at fighting, or that he even liked to fight. But <laughs> he's he scared to lose one. Was not scared to take an ass whipping, and he would jump. I mean, he wouldn't. He would not back down. I mean, I've seen that guy run into a group of sixty or seventy people by himself swinging a baseball bat. Now. They took it from him and, sh- and, and <laughs> beat, beat him the it. fuck out of him and his truck with it for an hey, hour hey. until the news crews got there. <laughs> guy, you got, yeah, but you got to give the guy some props, man. He's got some nuts. He, he, he was there to do handle he, business. He looked at all his buddies. He said, let's get these motherfuckers. He took off running and all his buddies just stood there and, and so did I. And he ran right up in the middle of them. <laughs> so there I was watching Pucker get beat down. Hey, and it was in the Walmart parking lot and all these guys had went to the garden center at Walmart and took all of the bricks and the pavers <laughs> oh, and they were throwing him at him and dude we were god i mean they beat the fuck out of pumpkin's truck oh <laughs> it was bad it was and it was over a street race uh one of our buddies or some guy that we knew got into a race with uh another rival street race gang got into a race <laughs> like it's just something dude. To fuck, like you got a disease or something <laughs> hey. he had so that was a race he caught a street race he caught a street he's just out there hanging out street races business. jumped out of the bushes and, and he and caught it street race caught him <laughs> sometimes street race happens you know what I mean? <laughs> hide your kids hide your wife <laughs> this shit just street race is just happening yeah. so I, there I was on Saturday night and caught a street race <laughs> street race don't care about white lives matter black lives matter they don't, no, they it's don't like care. hey man what happened to Tristan oh man he caught a street race dog <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's fucked up. Trouble. Yeah, poor guy wasn't even wasn't even about that life. Yeah, he's stuck in county now after yeah. catching a street race. Just yeah. turned around, got hit with a street race. Didn't even see it coming or nothing. Yeah, but yeah, back then there were street racing gangs. Like it, like we, man, I'm telling you, like WFT. Well, that was a gang. That was one of the, that was one of the uh, main gangs. Was I'd call that a in the biker world of, that we'd be like the one percenters of the street race gang. Yeah, we're the uh, legit gang. But dude, I mean, I'm not kidding you. Like that, this does it doesn't exist as much anymore. But back then in Oklahoma City, there were groups of street race gangs. You know what I mean? And what's funny is that the street racers in Oklahoma City were they were always a little bit off. You know what I mean? So you always had most of the group of street racers that like to fight. Well, most racers in general are guys that usually weren't very good at sports, and so this is something they can be good at. So they take it serious. Or they were good at sports, but really good at drugs. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> that too. Or, or and they, they fucked really it all up, so they're going to make they up for it. really good at sports, but then they get too old to, to be good at sports. <laughs> so now they're going to get in something and drive it. something else? That's kind of where I came from. Well, like, I mean, no. I mean, look at, look at every, every other facet of the world. Like, you have motocross guys, you have bicycle, bicycle guys, and you have, like, you know, extreme sports guys. But well, when they get old... Or they can't do it as well anymore. They jump in a car or a truck. Yeah, or a monster truck. Ca- they will rally, carry them somewhere. Or a rally car. All they do is push gas. Or a, you know, something. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Like Dave Mira and, I mean, well, all Dave the guys. Dave Mira's jumped in a casket, but that's kind of fucked up. <laughs> why you got to go, why you gotta go you there? You know Dave Mira died? No. Uh, yeah, bro. Are you yeah. serious? Yeah, he's yeah. been dead a minute. God dang. Holy shit. He wrecked his bike? No. No. What, never mind, Craig. Internal demons, brother. Damn. Yeah. That gets the best of them. Holy shit. No, I didn't know that. Yep. Man, he so, was a 90s king. Yeah, he was. He was a 2000s king, too. He triple yeah. flipped in 2000s. Man, hey, he was pretty damn good in that rally flipped. car. Yeah. Well, well I mean, he was back flipping until he was like 38, 40 years yeah, old. He, yeah, he was old out there. Yeah, the dude, the dude could bicycle. He could 20 inch. I agree. I, mean? I agree. I can't so, But back in the day, like, there was. There was uh, there were all these groups. There was the WOT group, which you know I liked to claim I was a part of that. Me and Dave and Craig and a bunch of guys, and then uh, Wiley and um, my roommate Jeremy Drogue uh, Cappuccino is what we called him. And you know there was a group of us that we we all kind of lived in the same area that that Northwest Thirty Ninth and MacArthur Meridian area, Northwest Sixty Third MacArthur area, you know, and then. 
Bethany War Acres type shit. And then there was like AP, which was like the Bizarro World WOT. You know, they were like they uh, they had they owned a shop called American Performance, and I think they they did some other stuff. Um, yeah, out of that shop. But, yeah, <laughs> uh, but they always had some fast shit here and there. You know, and there were you know a family. They were a family of of people that liked to fight and get rowdy, and and then Matt Asher, he was a part of the AP deal, and a couple of guys were in AP, and they had some fast shit here and there, and then there was Clean Motorsports out of Moore, and they were you know like what you can imagine Clean Motorsports <laughs> is, you know what I mean? Like they had the really nice F, F bodies and yeah. Camaros, you know, and then real up any more yeah, people. Then, I mean, you had like all the way back to like when I was sixteen. I mean, you had this one called TikTok or some shit, and that was like Tony Maxi, who's who owns Maxi's motorcycles on yeah. 39th he had one of the fastest um ls1 or lt ls1 camaros of anybody zodi was in that a bunch of those guys and then um and then there was like more that kept popping up and then there was like the honda ones you know when yeah. the fast and furious thing happened and then there was a bunch of honda groups you know and there were asian groups and mexican groups and it was like what was the edmund guys names uh, uh, e town, no, 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 there was E town, there was E town, and East Side, East Side Racing was from Shy to or Choctaw. East Side Racing like Stephen Strong, yeah, yeah. Stephen Strong, and, and all those and guys. Stephen's little and brother, Puff. Stephen's little brother, and them they like to fight too, you know. Oh, yeah. So, like every little group had its thing, mm-hmm. you know, and we would always get into it over a stupid street race, and before you know it. You know, and there were the tire biters. You know, tire biters always got you in trouble because there'd be a girl who was riding with one crew. <laughs> She'd be trying to get with the other you crew. You see them Saturday night, and she's with the other crew, and then somebody's butt hurt about it. You <laughs> yep. know what I mean? Damn so tire then, biters! And I'm like, man, you want to you want to whip his ass because he took some because he bought the last set of head studs from AutoZone, or or is it because your chick's riding in his V6 Mustang? You know? <laughs> <laughs> and. But yeah, that's what happened. Some guy was racing one of the Honda guys on North Expressway. I won't say his name, but he was racing because the you know that shit went down. I mean, I think people died, but uh, he was racing and he won. And then they tried to like jump him or fuck his car up or something. And so then Punkin and TJ and all them. TJ called me. And TJ came. Booger came and got me, and I rode with him out there. And we got there, and Booger was like, "Holy shit, this shit's fucking crazy, dude!" And I mean, I remember they were like throwing, trying to throw fucking. Um, cinder blocks through through people's windshields while they're in the car. One dude drove right over him and shit. Like, damn, news was there. Everything it was a crazy. Sometimes deal. you gotta get out. You know, I'm starting to believe that street racing is dangerous. Yeah, we should. I mean, it's not the racing part. Yeah, yeah. it's we not should, really the racing should. part that's so dangerous. Yeah, we should be. Well, you only break your back and stuff the, doing the actual that. Actual street race is the gateway drug. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then you end up in a it gang and leads, throwing leads bricks at people. <laughs> So, but thank God that Fast and Furious deals worn out. It's welcome, right? Yep. Yeah, and cool. all those guys bought Camaros why. and Mustangs. I bet now. they're not going to have another one. No, they are actually. They are. Yeah, they're, they're already coming out with it. It's already they filmed it and everything. Jeez. Oh, are you working Sean's on that? Today. Sean's, <laughs> Sean's you know about this. <laughs> Sean's like, yeah, why no didn't more. Paul Walker could do anymore. You <laughs> fucked <laughs> up. <laughs> That's two. That's two. <laughs> two dead people in the show. <laughs> hey, you never know. So Sean's waiting on Dave Mira's next mixtape. <laughs> waiting on Jaw Rule to come out with a mixtape. Dave Mira to do a backflip. Jaw Rule died? No. 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 But we ain't seen him in no. 20 years. No, I seen him. He's got a reality show. Does he? I watched it. Where you been? I don't know. <laughs> you know I've been at Dave Mayer's funeral. Yeah, no, he's got full-blown kids and everything on this reality show. Damn. He's pretty, he's pretty fucking cool, man. Really? Yeah. I'm going to have to check it out. Big fat I've, white chick? I've only seen... No. No, he's not. Yeah. He's married to a white chick. Uh, yeah, a big fat white chick. With good credit. Yeah. <laughs> got that, got that good got credit. Big, he got a big old badass house. <laughs> I don't know Either how. Either that or he yeah. plays it on well, he, that, well, he, on that show. Know, or he probably, rented it. Probably, yeah, a, Airbnb. <laughs> yeah. Or uh, or he took that big badass house from Tupac like he did his style. Yep. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> Damn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Three strikes, you're out. We got to go. I'm, I'm trying to get this house because I know they're going to sell it. <laughs> he's, he's at the auction trying to get Tupac's yeah. house. Yep. Yeah. Fucking bit his style, bit his house, bullshit, yep. man. Damn it, got his uh, bandana. Even looked like him, kind of. I tried to, for real. 
he's only about two foot two short. Yeah, he know. was like the he was like a mini me. He Tupac. was he was the, the only mini, problem was Tupac was like legit. Yeah, Tupac was like a real gangster. He was he was, he was yeah. He hung I mean, around. What happened some, to him? He hung around with some real he got yeah. shot and, and he had died. The street racing <laughs> got him. <laughs> I so there I, I was. Real. I call that so real. There I was. The street racing got me. <laughs> yeah. Led me right into gang banging. That's probably what happened. They were probably rolling down the road, got in a street race, shit went south. The next thing you know, yep. he got shot. Uh, Pin it on Biggie and everything else. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know how many more dead people we can talk about today, but that's we're on a mission here. Yeah. We're going to break the record for dead people on a podcast. I think. I think yeah. that we're um, down to nines of listeners again. Yeah, nines of listeners. Yep. Um, Chandra being one of them. Yeah, she's damn sure listening. You bet that, that we mentioned her on the last. Oh, podcast. she was on it. Really? She was like, I heard they mentioned me, and then she just literally stopped what she's doing and listened to the whole thing. Was she touching herself? Probably. Oh, man. No doubt. Man. Oh, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> what? I just nothing. meant like. I just this is the you truth know. tree. There's no going, going too far. Like, there's nothing like sacred here. Slapping her knee when yeah, it's Yeah, there's funny. nothing going too far. You know? There's no no sacred no, in this group. No, of course not. Um, Most of all, Blue Group. Almost, but yeah. So so McDougal has been troll since trolling was was before trolling was even cool. Was yes. it you that posted the picture of Blazer and Blazer's <laughs> kid? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Internet posted a picture of his house and everything. No no no. Blazer posted a picture of Bob Bell's house. Oh, Bob Bell's right. lost his mind. Right. Right? Yeah, literally Bobby, lost it. Bobby Firefly's fucking, fucking lost, lost it. it. Dude, he went off. I had to. We had to call him and be like, "Hey, it's just the internet, bro." Come yeah. Like, oh, the fuck it is. He's got my He's house got on the internet. House on yeah. the internet. It was like a full blown bitch. Like a, like he was outside. It was like it was like it was like Google Street View or yeah. whatever. And he yeah. like posted. He's like, "I know where you live." But it was like the military version. You know. Yeah. 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 Get your, Blazer still texts me every once in a while. Does he? Yep. He still he still trolls us on the internet. Man, I I had him all the, hot all the time. But God, like, he texted me that, last that week. One, he asked me how we did at cash days and shit. Blazer that one was post so was like the number two viewed post on all of that whole website's history. Yeah, over just trolling Blazer. Just troll everyone just because he called Blazer. Red Dirt fat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude. What's fucked up is you know I bought a car from him and we drove all the way up to fucking Grand Lake or wherever to get that God car. Damn. And he, that was so funny. And when I met that dude, I was like, "Oh my god, you're fucking huge!" Yeah, like yeah. no one. He's like seven you foot tall, and four hundred. Like, He's a big motherfucker. You could just smash some of these little internet guys, like the E Town Hustlers, remember the two brothers, the little yeah. bitty brothers. Oh, yeah. They talked all that shit to Blazer. I was like, "Dude, Blazer could just like smash Pop. you." Well, remember we went up there and we traded. You, you traded that car for, for that four wheeler. My four wheeler for a Malibu. And remember when he was riding that four wheeler when we left? <laughs> hey, this this. <laughs> I don't, I'm not real sure if this motherfucker had ever been on a four wheeler before, but he was fucking hauling ass. It was a I'm fast four wheeler. It was bad. He's he's rolling through this field, trying. That is wide the fuck up. Trying to chase us to let us know that he we so that we could see him riding wide open yeah. on this DS650. Well, he yeah. was wide the fuck open, yeah. and about. 80 I, man he had to have been doing an 80 on this thing and he's in just like this pasture and then this big fence comes up and so you see him lock them motherfuckers just came out of nowhere this fucking like, yeah, dude, just I'm jumped probably, right out of nowhere been there his whole fucking life probably hang out with some street racing and, and just jumped up that motherfucker up it slides sideways and we're thinking he's gonna crash dude, that he bitch he put his legs time. out like he was like gonna like try and brace it if it goes over and I was like yeah that's just gonna break your fucking we, we were just waiting ham hock knee he didn't though. Uh, no, but I never should have bought that car, man. On the test drive, the muffler fell off. It did. I remember that. Dude, shit. we're just riding along, and all of a sudden, it fucking gets really loud in there. You know, Jesus. What car was it? It was a eighty Malibu or seventy eight Malibu. Uh, yeah, I remember when you got that. Yeah, primer block. That didn't last long. No, I uh, sold it to. Uh, <laughs> It wasn't me. I got mine from a crackhead. No. <laughs> no, I, I sold it to a crackhead. <laughs> well, maybe I sold it. maybe that was the car that he had. Remember my homeboy from uh, from Fort Smith? Yeah, that bad, bad co or whatever. What? And that was they, didn't he run with the bad co company? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> remember he? Hey, that rig was nice for the. <laughs> remember. <laughs> he bought it for his girlfriend, and I remember they had come to the city and raced that. They had an, SS, or an S10 Blazer that. Yep, it, it wasn't no joke on the street. No, but it was, it was, it was white or something. It was wasn't white, it? Yeah, yeah, something like white. But yeah, yeah. And it, it was a little off white, something. Man, it wasn't no joke on the street. But dude, he brought his girlfriend with him, and no. she was she was no. uh she was something. She was real native. 
and she had the idea that if you pull your song up to your armpits that that was cool and sexy and wear a belly shirt mm-hmm. oh and she was and and I mean she, she didn't have a bad body or nothing you know what I mean what, oh I'm guarantee you this chick partied guaranteed and, uh, that's how he met her you still got her number or anything yeah. and, <laughs> and they were uh, they were they were in Oklahoma City street racing one night and I was like man Fort Smith must be a rough place these, these, these cats are they're fucking they're tough they like to party and he didn't give a fuck, dude. He no. unloaded that blazer anywhere and race it. He, well, he never he never put it back on the trailer. Remember, he unloaded it at Sonic and left his badass truck and trailer at Sonic. <laughs> I remember that guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ugh, oh, the day. Those are the days, man. Uh, speaking you know, of those, too bad the somebody days. fucking ruined street racing. Yeah, motherfucker, who who did? I don't know. It's just what I've heard. I read on the internet. But, yeah. But yeah, Bob Bob freaked out when he posted his God, he did, Remember yeah. back in the day, back then though, it was the internet, and if it was Post on the my internet, fucking kids, everybody, on the could, everybody could get your shit off the internet. And the cartels were going to come and kidnap you and shit. Like that was the internet it was scary back then. Like, you know that 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 website and you is really the, I can define the turning point. I turned into a troll. <laughs> Like I was, I used to get mad in that website, and I wanted like hunt people down and fight them. And the one day you messaged me, I didn't even know you hardly, and you're like, "Hey man, calm down, bro. It's just the internet." And that stuck with me ever since then. So now I just fuck with people. And it's like, why are you mad? It's just the internet. Yeah, it's just the internet. <laughs> this, this doesn't count in real yeah, life. It's not in real life. No. You, we wouldn't say this shit to each other's face. You know that. We'd be like, hey, man, what's yeah. going on? Yeah, well, except for you and Reaper. Yeah, I'd probably say it to his face. Yeah. Uh, but Francisco <laughs> he wouldn't do nothing, Vega. Uh, Francisco he's, he's, he's Vega. Good too. He's a good troll. Good. If you guys like a good troll, he go get on Facebook and go find Francisco Vega because he's one of my favorite trolls now. He has excelled in trolling. He makes the funniest pictures of you, you'll get yourself tangled with him and not sure what's going on. He'll have he, you so fucking mad. He he will keep going and and you know he's boosted like prodigy. Boosted yeah, was yeah. one of the original trolls. You know, boosted's now, calmed down on the internet though. Yes. Was boosted not in was person though. Before I even had my own website, boosted was a troll. You know. Yes. I mean, Booster would troll you on a bathroom stall oh. at the truck stop. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> He'd put your number in a bathroom stall. He's so like, fucking. He's smart. And he's, he's quick tongue. He's sarcastic and god damn, he, he can make you mad fast. Real quick. Every once in a while. Zero to a hundred, real once quick. You see that come back out of And that's what I like about him. Every once in a while, still on the show. You'll see that yeah. come out in him, and I'm like, "Oh, it's the old boosted." Usually yeah, on the drivers meeting for a minute, and then he calms down real quick. I wish, well, yeah, till he does it to me, and then I'm pissed <laughs> off. I'm gonna choke his fucking ass. <laughs> but then he's always got fucking that bad bitch fucking Kayla running around with him nowadays. <laughs> so I might think twice. Then you're like, "Man, I ain't trying to yeah. fight boosted because I got to fight her too." Yeah, exactly. I, was, I, was I ain't trying to fight Kayla. I was wondering when he got her pregnant. I was like, "Dang, like." Boost is going to be a family man or whatever. No, no, no. He's just trying to lock her down as a bodyguard for yeah. the rest of his life. Yeah, you know he I mean? carries her around everywhere. Yeah, with him. yeah he does. He don't like, get beat up. He, I don't you know, think he's been beat up since he's been. Hell with her. no. All he's got to do is jingle that leash a little bit. And you know, damn good will you haul off and punch Boosted? She's going to hit you right in the side yep. of the head. She's going to be with on. something. Yep. Yeah, with something. Yeah. You're, you're going to you're going to connect with him, and then she's going to go whop right in the side of your head. Old lady's ass. <laughs> yeah, and yours. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's good to have her on your side, though. Yep, that's why I quit trolling her. Me and her's been friends lately. Yeah, no, she yeah she tried yeah. to fight somebody's old lady at the show, on the filming. A couple yeah, ago. for me though. Yeah, that was fucking awesome. It was awesome. Or for me, they weren't really mad at you. Oh, yeah. they were. They were more yeah, mad at me. Yeah, because you fucked them. Yeah, I guess I did somehow. But I was racing the dude. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, she, Kayla's like you picked the and wrong she kid. and Kayla's pretty pretty small <laughs> now. And they just picked her up and she's just like, yeah, yeah. her little feet and arms are kicking. Yeah, I'm like, let her go. It's yeah, like one of those wind up cars, you know, you spin it real fast and then just. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If he would have dropped her. She'd have been right over to her. See her arms and hands just going. She probably wouldn't have been able to see her feet. It'd be like a smoke cloud around. Remember those little cords car. you put in the back of your little matchbox car and you yeah. rip it and it's like Fuck take off. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's happening right now. Um, but yeah, so go, go if you get a chance, Francisco Vega. Here's what he did yesterday. God, so it was great. <laughs> Daddy Dave posts on Facebook that he's looking for an intercooler for his daily driver uh, pickup <laughs> project. He wants to go turbo, and 
when he posted it, he said, "Who's got a you know intercooler for thousand horsepower air to water, whatever for my S ten that I can have?" And well, he didn't say he didn't say that I can have. He said, "What do you got?" He well, said, "Let me see what you got." Well, and Francisco Vega is one of the first ones to comment, and he comments, "We've got one in stock, bro. Call the shop." And he posts the phone number, and the phone number was to the Oklahoma Gay Hotline, and like you call this number so that you can listen to other dudes do it or you can talk to a dude about doing it or you know whatever you can yeah, you do you can set something up you could probably, yeah i mean you know and i guess it's pretty graphic you know and i guess it's uh it's pretty loud so he posts that phone number and then dave sends him a message on facebook he says when do you want me to call and he's like call right now we're here <laughs> and <laughs> and uh well he probably didn't know that he wasn't from the 405 you know what i mean so he got him pretty good on that one. And then he posted Dave it thought, up. well, it's local. Yeah. yeah. Dave thought, they might I even deliver it. I'll get a free <laughs> intercooler right here in the city. <laughs> <laughs> and you got to have it shipped. <laughs> and then, but nope. All he was going to get was dick. Hot <laughs> wiener. Hot yeah. wiener. No intercooler for you. No, no intercoolers. <laughs> only hot wieners. <laughs> you get inner heat. <laughs> God, that's hilarious. Uh, so then, inner meat. So then... He so then he thought that was so funny that he tells me he's like have Kai Kelly call into the podcast and do it on the air and text Kai and tell him to call the podcast and give him that phone number <laughs> and I thought that was fucking hilarious but I was like we're not doing a podcast today it's not Tuesday yeah. <laughs> yesterday wasn't Tuesday today's Tuesday we can't do one it's not Tuesday <laughs> we do them every Tuesday though yeah well then so then he wasn't done so then he makes a post that says the chief and sean show and it says they're doing they're taking live callers right now and he posts that fucking phone number and all these people are commenting on it like what the fuck? it's busy <laughs> i can't get through he's like just keep calling just keep calling <laughs> they're, they're getting a lot of calls the right gay now. Hotline, really should the gay hotline lit up bro like yes, oh it was Oklahoma gay hotline. They, were, cool. they were calling in gays from everywhere to, to fucking come and say we need more gays <laughs> 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 Oh, man. <laughs> running out of wiener. That's probably that's probably more traffic than they've had in a long time. There's meat everywhere. Oh, we need more oh, meat. We need more meat. <laughs> There's not near enough swinging dicks around here to take all these phone calls. We got girls with deep voices. <laughs> oh god! So one guy said that he called it from his work on speakerphone, and of course, when it answers, like I guess it's pretty graphic. Every caller, it. where's our phone? We're going to call it on speakerphone. Let's see what it, see what it sounds okay. like. All right. Fan I want to know what it says when they answer. <laughs> because, like, God, it's so funny, dude. I hope it's something cool. <sighs> I'm sure it's two dudes there fucking or something, right? All right. What was that phone number? I know it by heart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sean's got on speed dial number three. It's in my favorites. <laughs> <laughs> he just says Siri, call home. Yeah. Sean, yeah. <laughs> Phantom posts that fucking gay deal in the in the in the group text of the, the other day. I didn't even didn't even notice it was two dudes. Sean's like, "What are y'all laughing about?" Now, you what's know, the problem? what's the problem? And then like somebody said something about two dudes, and then I looked at the picture, and yeah, All right, let's see here. It's uh, four one six six. Oh. Yeah, boosted got Derek on that same thing yesterday too. Welcome to Pride Line. The busiest chat line in America meeting local guys. It's always real, always, it's always live, real. and always fun. You must be at least 18 years of age to use this service. We do not pre-screen our members and assume no liability should you meet someone through this service. Now, get ready to have some real fun. We may also send you text messages. If you don't want to receive messages, reply with stop. Reply with no meat. Message and data rate may apply. No meat for me. Reply. <laughs> Replied vegetarian. You. you can press any key to interrupt this prompt whenever you're ready to get started. <laughs> let's, get, let's get fucking started. This way, you'll know your way around. This service is for men looking to meet other men, and there are two main ways to do it. Cruise through the live connector to meet guys who are on the line right now waiting to meet you. Listen to the recorded greetings to find exactly what you're looking for. Then get to know them better by sending private messages. Look, man, we're looking for meat and an intercooler. <laughs> oh, we heard y'all had an intercooler and some meat. <laughs> Francisco's the greatest. Yeah, he's a good troll, man. He really Francisco is. Francisco Vega, man, he's the best. Yeah. Uh, and he's street. He, he does street. street. We were we went to 
Cash Days. Cash Days. Uh, last weekend. The real deal. The it's actual. It's so funny because we were just talking about that. You know, last Tuesday. You would have thought. Podcast. You would have thought. It was like we knew. Yeah. Um, so here's what happened. It must have been last Tuesday. We, it must have been last Tuesday. <laughs> Which wasn't this Tuesday. Are, are they all, is every day a Tuesday? <laughs> this Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, what happens is Limpy says, Limpy from DFWSS, or DFW actually, he's, he's the godfather of cash days. He's the one who started it. Everybody else that's had a cash days or that's thought they were going to have one or calls her. Calls their shit cash days. They're all fake, poser, bullshit, whatever. Phonies. So you're greedy. You're a big, you're fat, a big fat phony. phony. <laughs> well, Limpy started it. Okay? He had the first one. It's his. We have respected him and and cash days enough that he has like licensed us, if you will, in the 405 to have cash days here. And we worked together, and we would have one down there, and then one up here, and then one yeah. down there, and then one up here, and we, we worked together. You know what I mean? We 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 were we were um, respectful. Yes. But now you got everybody in the country wanting to have a cash days, and it's really disrespectful because a lot of the times the way they're doing it isn't what cash days should be about. It isn't what cash days is. Cash days is everything. It's the only thing that matters in street racing is cash days. Okay. So. Well, that's why we did. That's why that's, we did all this. That's, that's the why we, whole that's reason. That's why we got the list. It was a that's year why. worth of list racing for one. Yes, weekend. That's well, it was actually reason. the like the last week. Yeah. <laughs> and then it got real, yeah. real hectic that yeah. last week because you try to get in the top five, yeah. <laughs> so you could go. I was but, always in the top five, so. But that was the whole reason to start the list. Is Limpy said. We're going to have cash days. I'll give the 405 three or four spots. You decide who goes. Well, I don't know how to decide who goes, so I made up a list of top ten. And we'll just take from the top. It's the easiest way to do it. And if you're broke, we'll go to the next guy, right? That's you know. And then, yes. and then the rest of the guys are alternates, whatever. Well, that's why we started the whole list, was just to see who could be. Cash days was what mattered, so we started a list just so that we could be in cash. Yeah, because before that, we were just out racing, like on a Saturday night. Nothing. We were just it really we never just, meant nothing. We just would like, race just each other. Race. Yeah, we would race each other. We'd race whoever, or we would. We had those little gangs, and we would race each gang or whatever. Or we would go to car shows. You know, outside of, of uh, our little town, we'd I go didn't. to Vernon and Wichita, and we go to all these car shows looking for street races. And you could always find a street race at a little car show. Well, then this cash days thing happened, thanks to the internet. We found out about it, and we went down there, and we were, you know, ever since then, it's been a big deal to us, and it's meant a lot to us. Well, Limpy is the godfather, and he's tired, uh, I guess, you know, because he quit for a long time. He did. He couldn't handle the people bitching at him about it. Because, well, he even turned one over to Boosted, right? Yep. And had Boosted run it. Yeah, well, because he was tired of listening, because it, it's a lot of work to put on a cash day. Yeah. And if something goes wrong... That's on Limpy's shoulders, and he got tired of dealing with that, and, you know, he had gotten in a car accident or something, and he was, you know, I just remember for a while there, he just didn't even want to come out at all. He had that little Jeep Cherokee, you remember, and he just didn't want to do nothing, and so he just said, fuck it, I quit. Y'all are disrespectful. You don't listen to me. You don't do what I say. You don't, you, you hit the spots every night, like, fuck it, I quit. Y'all deal with it on your own. Well, that's well, a lot of work driving around. I mean, nobody knows more than you. You know, I mean, driving around looking for spots. I mean, God, you dude. have to months. You ahead have of time. to stake that shit out because you have to know. I mean, if you show up at one o'clock and there's nobody there, that don't mean somebody's not going to show up at three. No, you have to and sit run there, your whole. You have fucking to sit there night. all night to you have figure to sit there out because all night figure out, out the, people's schedules. Out of the five different spots that you have, you have to figure out which spot you can hit at what time. So if you get busted at this spot at one. You may not be able to go to the spot you want to go to between two and three. You know, yes. you gotta you gotta be careful of that. And who knows when the fucking sprinklers are gonna come on. So then you gotta figure out where's yeah, the we've controls, ran into that. Where's the control box for the sprinkler system so that you can turn it off the day before. <clears> and then you gotta before. remember to turn them back on. Yeah, then you gotta remember to turn you know? them back on or they're gonna go, Hey, somebody's been here. Let's somebody, get a security guard. Let's get a security guard. Somebody's messing with our sprinklers, yeah. you know. You gotta always have and, those and people it looks that like pick somebody up ran over trash. Some, it looks like somebody ran over some paint. Yeah. <laughs> somebody ran through all this fucking some, paint out here. There's some black paint <laughs> everywhere. And then you got to have the people who stick around afterwards because people don't give a shit. They throw trash everywhere. Yep. And if there's trash everywhere, then the people are going to get fucking smart and yeah. start getting security guards. Yeah. You know? And then then some of the security guards are top flight security. You know Which what I mean? Which turns serious. into what we did with the cop car. You can't pay 
some security guards. Some security guards just don't want money or anything. They're, they're serious. They just yeah, want to hey, shoot you. Hey, they get their eight fifty an hour. They're serious. Hey, but a lot, but a lot of, of them do, do want money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, we couple we hundred bucks go a long uh, way. We damn near cut the pot in half before paying security guards. Yeah, there was one. There was a one time when a security guard kept up and it on us, and we were just like, "This sucks." But I mean, what are you going to do? Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, he's, gotta, he's yeah. making the rules. You know, yeah, you got to do it. Yeah, because you got to get the race done. There's guys from all over the country here to make this happen, so you got to get it done. So, anyway, we, you know, Limpy had to deal with all that. Well, after dealing with that for so long and people not respecting what he had to do and not dealing, you know, not listening to him and not, you know, not giving him his due, finally he just said, fuck it, why am I putting all this work into this if I, you know, I don't even race. So he said, I'm going to put a car together and I'm going to start racing. Well, um, the racing scene went to shit after Olympi quit. You know what I mean? Because it was like no, Dallas Fort Worth just froze. Well, because there's nobody to, no one there wanted to be the leader. Boosted tried for a little while, but he's so busy running around doing other boosted, stuff. Boosted has a race in a different city every day. Like, well, and he's got a full blown, pretty important job. Yeah, he's like a fucking. Like yeah, yeah, he's in Italy like every other I mean, week. Hey, whenever Street Outlaws came available for all of us, we said, fuck our other jobs. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, hell no, man. I can't quit this job. He's got like a full-blown badass good job. And still manages to get out. Yeah. No, I think he's he's like, he has like security level fucking VIP, I don't know, like hidden secret credentials and stuff. Like well, he's a big deal. At yeah, Lockport. well, last time I talked to him, he said that the people that work with him and shit still don't know that yeah, he's, 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 he's on the show or anything. He's like, that, that he's on number one yeah. right He's like show. Clark Kent. <laughs> <laughs> he puts his glasses on and he's like, no. Yeah. He's What's like, the, no that's well, what is street racing? Yeah, yeah, that's put, not he me. puts his fucking uh, dockers on and no one, yep. no one realizes yeah, it's awesome. the same guy. They're like, man, that boosted GT sure is cool. Yep. You should be more like him, yep. Clark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've never what heard the of the street the racing. That Clark worked at? The, the Daily or the Global. The, da- the, the Global. Global. The Daily Global or Daily something Globe like that. Or something, yeah. The Daily Globe. Yeah. Well, Boosted works at some some kind of deal like that, but it has to do with like missiles or something. Yeah. Defense. Defense. <laughs> Defense. <laughs> uh, so, Boosted tried for a little while, but he's just got too much shit going on. You know, he can't fucking run shit. So, then it just went to shit. You know, nobody, everybody quit racing. Yeah. You know what I mean? The cars stayed the same. And, well, because why would they do anything? If nobody's racing them, why would they fuck with them? You know? Ronnie of, Pace was like the only guy that would race out of that whole group. Boy, you know, and the, but a lot of guys went track racing. You yeah. know what I mean? A lot yeah. of the guys did. They were like, well, like there's, driver. there's four uh, tracks in 15 minutes of DFW. Yeah. Why wouldn't, if you, you know, if you got all this shit and you can't street race, just go to the track. And that's what they did. And, <laughs> so anyway, long story short, Limpy decided that he's tired of, you know, everybody putting on these bullshit cash days and everybody trying to act like they know what the fuck's going on when the guys that are putting on these cash days have never even been to a real one. You know what I mean? They don't know what it's about. They've never been to one. You know, there's guys putting on cash days at racetracks. There's guys putting on cash days at airports. There's guys putting on cash days at fucking you know, every like there's guys been on small tire cash days, you know, that like with like yeah. how can you have a small tire cash days like if cornfield cash days. If, yeah, cornfield cash days. You days. fucking can't. You man. can't have a small bullshit. tire cash days it's without bullshit. Well, and if you're gonna have a cash days slow car cash days. Well yeah, slow car was a bit you know, we actually had slow yeah, car we cash did days. That. You know? I had um, one of those. <laughs> it was sucked though, because like what ha- what do you do when you go to work Monday and they're like, How'd, what'd you do this week? And I was in slow car cash days. What'd you do? I won. So you're the fastest slow car? Like, what yeah. the fuck? But, I hey, had won that in the death trap. It was a big deal to us, you know? So, but we we called it like it was. It was slow car cash days. We didn't yep. call it small tire cash days. We, you know what I mean? We didn't call it whatever. Like, if you're going to have a small tire cash days, how can you have a small tire cash days without the fastest small tire street racers? You know what I mean? You can't have a small tire cash days without boosted gt and kamikaze and you know chuck and those guys like I mean, what? come on man you know anyway so finally limpy got tired of it and he decided he's gonna put on a real cash days a real deal cash days and the rules he brought back the old school rules yes <laughs> murder nova is king <laughs> and the rules said it's invite only 16 cars you have to be a street racer your car has to be a street race car and no pro mods. Those were the original rules. So I wasn't allowed to race in cash days. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I felt like Rudolph. 
Crow, 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 Nova. Crow, Crow Mod is a pro mod. Yeah, I felt like Rudolph. They didn't let me play in any of the reindeer games. <laughs> no, but I had a shiny red nose. Hey, we could we could sit and joke about it all, all we want, dude, but it, it hurt you. No, nah, it did. No, no it, one, yeah, no I could one. tell all last fucking week, and I'm I'm just. I'm fucking so excited. I can't I, really sit still. It, it hurt him so bad. He, he drooped his shoulders. His neck looking about that wide. Yeah, yeah. His old skinny neck. And I'm so fucking picture. excited. I can't hardly sit still. And then I have to look at him. And I know. And I know he's excited for me. But and I know he's excited to go to this deal. But man, it's just like, like in a real cash days when we're all in it. And I win one round, but then your best friend fucking loses first round. You can't be real excited because you know he's so down. You know? Yeah, but at least he was there. Yeah, I know. I know, but I, I could tell how Sorry. bad it was eating you up last Sorry. week. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm yeah. gonna get fucking mad, dude. I, I could, I could tell it was eating you up pretty you bad got, last I, week, and uh, it's I, I would have too, dude. If they wouldn't have let me in, I, I'd have been hurt, you know. Cash days is everything, okay? Cash days is street racing. Cash days is the biggest illegal street race in the United States, and. When Limpy puts on a cash days, that's OG. That's Limpy putting it on on NDF. Like that's the fucking deal. That's it. Yeah, that's it. It's the Catalina. That's there's nothing else. It's no. cash days, right? And it's fucking awesome. And I couldn't fucking race in it. How bad does that suck? I have a car that runs, and I couldn't fucking race in cash days. Yeah. And it fucking runs good. And it runs fucking good. And I can't <laughs> race in cash days, man. It it hurt me to the core. Like, no one will understand how bad that fucking hurt. I had a pretty good idea all week. Yeah. Well, fuck you. <laughs> um, but I got to go. Yeah, you did, you mother effer. That yeah. was your first cash days? No. Uh, first <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> holy shit, are you kidding me? No. There's no. Yeah, Man. dude. Hey, and it was the and the cool thing about this cash days is it was the real fucking deal. Like you, fought, we met in an industrial park behind a warehouse, and we you, there's nothing for miles, and you pull behind this warehouse, and there's three thousand people standing in a circle. I have no yeah. idea how we used to get those off. There would be a line of cars three miles long dude, filing. Same in. way, it was same way, way we did it this way. It was God this Almighty. Way. I didn't get to go, but man, it was that way, dude. It was in fucking incredible. My and first one, I was like, whoa, I, dude, I just people looked, just filing in. I pulled behind that warehouse and I was like, oh my God, yep. Here I got we out. Are. I was just like, this is it. This is it. And you don't. It's not like street racing normally you know because street racing normally you usually know which spot you're going to or you're at the spot and you know who you're racing or whatever man this deal you don't know the road you don't you've never seen the road no you never raced on the road you never made a hit on the road you don't know anything fucking about it you know so it's like it's a it's tough to to do anything in cash days especially when cash days are real legit cash days that's why no one will understand why we talk so highly of like Ronnie Pace and White Boy and Murder Nova and and the Sonoma, you know, and Dave and you know all that stuff. It's because they won multiple cash days, you know what I mean? Or in Doc, you know, he won a cash days. Like when you win a cash days, like it's a big deal because you were able to get your car down whatever was thrown at you that night in when the cops were coming you know what i mean like it was insane but back then you didn't have 300 passes on the same road with data you, you still know. don't on oh, the real no, street man you only no, have I mean, like, you only have that on the show we, we yeah knew, that's all i mean like we like it's we a lot different be. now on the show yeah we knew we wasn't going to be on a good fucking road yeah and what really sucked is we were supposed to film the season finale for the show last weekend <laughs> how'd that work and well <laughs> we had other shit going i can <laughs> tell you <laughs> You made some friends? You know, I've had a few jobs in my day. I think it was up to 27 different jobs before I decided I didn't want to work anymore. And, uh, yeah. And every one of those jobs, I called in sick to a lot. (laughs) And it wasn't that big a deal. (laughs) It was like, well... Chief's not going to be here, so I guess those dishes aren't going to get done. Or yeah. Chief's not going to be here, so I guess that ditch ain't going to get dug. Or <laughs> Chief's not going to be here, so I guess that fucking thermostat ain't going to get hung. Or Chief ain't going to be here, that chili's not going to get made. You know? Like, it wasn't that big a deal. But man, when I called into work, <laughs> and I said, hey, yo. I said, man, I, I ain't feeling good. <laughs> I said, look, the murder Nova's sick. It's not going to make it. Yep. I'm going to stay here with it and take care of it. <laughs> and 
Yeah. It's got a limp. The murder of his yeah. grandma died. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I've been in the computer all day. Murder of his got a family union we forgot about. We got to go to Dallas to his murder of his grandma's funeral. You know, like, she was a good old car. You yeah. know, like, <laughs> dude, man, it was, they, they weren't happy. You know what I mean? Because we got guys coming from all over for this finale. You know, and they couldn't. They, I mean, dude, it was like, what do you mean you're not gonna? What do you mean? What? Wait, wait, wait. What do you mean? Yeah, we're not. We're just not gonna be there. I'm not gonna be here. They're like, we've spent all this money to make this happen. We are literally six days away from the finale. Travel, hotel rooms, planes, everything, and uh, what? And I'm like, yeah, we're not coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let us know how that works out. And I said, and I said y'all can do it without us or no. I don't really care, but like, we're not coming. And finally, the, you know, I had to tell him like, look, you should have checked my job history for you before uh, you got me in on this. Yeah, <laughs> look, uh, it's cash days, <laughs> and um, I'm gonna take a personal day <laughs> <laughs> or two. Or two. <laughs> it might it might take more than one day. And dude, it was like everything fucking cra- came crashing down they they were mad they weren't happy about it you know whatever i mean what are you going to do you know we i mean we you know we and then did what we were going to do is that i had to contact the people that were coming for the finale and i won't tell you like what the finale was about but there were racers coming here to race us you know big guys big name guys you know big big name guys and and it's going to be amazing and it's just it, not on the same you know, weekend well, as cash days. It's not. I mean, now how amazing can it be? Now we just went to cash days. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's like your old ladies. You know, had prom with Mandingo, and then, you know, and then you're taking her next year. You know, like, <laughs> like, like, yeah, it's the senior prom, but I mean, she went junior prom with Mandingo. You yeah, know, what I mean? exactly. got just big giant face loads, <laughs> douche, douche, just all in her face, just douche, douche, douche. <laughs> Like, consolation prize, man. That's the best I got. Man. You know, yeah, she's hot and everything, but like, what about last yeah, year though, bro? But, but, <laughs> damn. You know, yeah, you got her a limo, and he took her in a cutlass. But yeah, oops, oops. So, anyways, so I had to text these guys and tell them. You know what I mean? I had to text PD Smallblock. I had to text Brian Davis. I had to text Bodie, and I had to text guys like that and say, "Yo, you know that thing we've been planning for a long time." Not gonna make it. Yeah, yeah it turns out rain check. We're that. sick, <laughs> and they were like, "What?" You know, they're like, "What the fuck?" And I'm like, "Yeah, sorry, bro. Like, it's cash days. Like, it's a real cash days. There's no way that I can get on television for every day of my life in front of millions of people and say I am street, and then skip cash days while they're streeting." Yes, there's people actually street and street <laughs> racings are happening in Dallas, <laughs> and you're over here saying I'm street, <laughs> and I'm 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 mic'd up. Like, wait, do you guys know that the street racings are getting people right now? Yeah. Like, I need to. There's street racings there. in every street down there. <laughs> there's industrial parks full of street racings. Yeah, right yep. now you guys don't even know if there are industrial parks that street racings are happening. Like, Man. And I'm not there. No. Yeah. No. That wasn't going to work out for us. What's cool though, you know, what's cool is. Uh, I'm excited that the people that I had to text were, you know, either real street cats or at one point in time real street cats or live for it, love it, whatever, but they they got it. You know what I mean? Like they did. They really got it. And it was uh it was crazy. Like I had to text um PD Smallblock and I said I said, uh, sorry, pimp, I'm in some deep shit here, and the TV show is going to kill me for this, but Limpy is throwing a real legit cash days in DFW, and I will not miss that for the world. We're not going to be able to make it race here in OKC that we have set up. I hope you and your crew understand. I'm sure you won't, but I'm not going to be here to listen to all the bitching anyway. I'll be at cash days, real shit over TV all day. And I said, uh, I can't claim street if I ain't street. And Petey says, I hear you on that, bro. Are we going to reschedule? Like, No big deal. Yeah, I mean, you know, just like I get it. Like, what what can you say? You know what I mean? And uh, Everybody else was getting down. <laughs> everybody was getting down. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't want to be Brian alone Davis, getting down. Brian Davis said the same thing. Brian Davis is like, Shh, I'm not one to, you know, I'm not going to knock you for that. Like, well, yeah, because now you get some more test time with that new car. But my <laughs> favorite... My favorite answer was Bodie. I said I said the same thing to him, and 
I said, sorry, I'm not going to be here. And he said, holy shit, okay, let me check with my guys and change all these flights and shit. Uh, I'll probably just do the next week if you can, but let me know. Get right back at you. And then he said, big homie. (laughs) And if y'all don't know Bodie, his voice. I wish I could do his voice. Yeah. Yeah. He said, big homie, these dudes are throwing a fit. (laughs) Planes and flights and schedule, days off work. They saying it's impossible to reschedule. One guy even has vacation already paid for and shit. Can't miss it. What you be thinking? And I said, I hear you, boss. I'm down for whatever you want to do. I just ain't going to be here. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Y'all can still come. And he said, no, I understand. I'm not real big into complaining. So it is what it is, big homie. <laughs> he said, That's pretty close. <laughs> he said, these dudes are the one crying and shit. So I'm going to tell everyone, we're just going to have to reschedule and rebook all these flights. Let me know what's better for you. If not, I'll find some other cars to go. And I was like, you the man, love you, boss. I said, I knew you'd be the only person on earth to understand this type of shit. He said, I know how it is, big homie. We get a hair up our ass, and it's time to go. (laughs) Nothing else fucking matters. Sometimes people ask us to change and reprioritize our life. And I always say, fuck that. We wouldn't be who he is if we changed this crazy shit about us. So fuck it. Do you, homie. And I was like, yeah. (laughs) You know you sound like? What do you mean? You people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the dude Bumpy playing Brakes another dude just playing I'm another dude. dude. I know exactly who I am. Bumpy I'm Brakes the dude who's playing the dude to play the other dude. <laughs> God damn. I, I, I felt like Bodie for a minute there, man. He's, uh, God, he, he's, he's just got the best, coolest voice ever. And yeah. when he said that, I he's was like, He's a smooth motherfucker. Bodie is sure. Chief's man crush. That's for damn yeah. sure. No, I didn't yeah. want to. Well, he's also all the chicks' man crush, too, though. He's the only motherfucker show up to street racing sweats, and everybody there want to be wearing them, too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dude, he shows up in sweatpants and makes us all look bad. Yeah. In yeah. sweatpants. Yeah, yeah. sweatpants and, hey, and brand time, new white shoes. They never stepped time. on a piece of dirt. He's a jock strap. <laughs> Dick just fucking swinging. I'd wear sweatpants as him, too. But, you ain't never you, seen a what, big you ain't dick. never seen no big dick. You gonna know today. <laughs> you ain't never seen no long dick. Uh, <laughs> you gonna learn today. You gonna learn today. It looked like he carrying around a shovel in his pocket. You know. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Just, just got sexy two, as hell, man. Yeah. Got them gold ass fucking braces. You know, or, or he changes the color of them too. Yeah. You know, he changes the color for what the yeah. occasion is. If it's St. Patty Day, he got green. You know what I mean? He'll yeah. change the shit up. And I thought I had him one day on the pocket knot, you know, because I saw, like, it looked like he didn't have a whole lot of money in there like he normally does. I mean, when I say a whole lot, I meant, like, he looked like he only had about 10 grand. Yeah. I had more than that in one pocket. So I was like, I was like, oh, shit, I think I can get him. Look, look, I'm finna big dick. I said, I'm finna fucking big dick the big dick. (laughs) I said, I said, uh, I said, get your knot out, player. Let's play big bank takes little bank. I pulled mine out. And he didn't even fucking break his face. He said, all right, hang on a second. And he pulled out that one little knot, about 10 grand. And then he said, oh, shit. And then he reached in his other pocket. And I was like, oh, what the fuck? What the oh, fuck? Got, oh, wait a minute. I didn't no, know no, you no. had two That's pockets. That's supposed to be the phone pocket. <laughs> yeah. And he pulled out probably two phones. And then he pulled out three big knots. And I was like, oh, fuck. And he said, no, I got to keep it segregated. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> God damn, that motherfucker yeah, gets me. He's fucking cool, man. I like the fuck out of Bobby. I mean, he's yeah. good as gold, too. He is. Yeah. He's he the is. kind of motherfucker that says something, it happens. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, no. Yeah. He, don't, yeah. he don't bullshit. He no, ain't nothing that ever came out of his mouth that I thought, ah, he's full of shit. No, hey, man. We're sitting at 135th in Maine. He dropped the trailer door, and he was unloading that fucking note. He, he was going to get in Dave's hey, ass. He would have win. Oh, yeah. He would have made a hit. I mean, I when David Bird Jones' car got stolen, David Bird Jones is all out. He said, come over here and get my car. He goes, man, they took my truck and trailer, too. He goes, I didn't say nothing about a truck and trailer. Get you a flight out here yeah. and get my shit and drive back. Take it for as long as you need it. That I did. And just gave him a truck, trailer, and car to race. Bodie's I mean, for the last four months. Well, you know, I, Bodie's living right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, he's right with the band. I thought fucking, <laughs> so what happened to uh, Birdman's old car? I thought he gave it. David Bird Jones can't fit in that thing, I guess. Oh, we couldn't fit in his old car that got stole. (laughs) Well, I guess he could fold up just right in the other one. This one he can't get right. Dude. God, he'd have that door off. I seen him test out a door on one time. His knee was higher than his head, and he was like this. 
<laughs> yeah, he was. Yeah, was like, the steering wheel fuck? was like at his shins. Yeah, I mean, he was driving like this. Yeah. God, can you imagine big, dumb, white David Bird Jones hanging out with Bodie? Bodie probably wanted to smack him all the time. Bodie probably started looking at him and goes, shut the fuck up. Like, <laughs> You're making me look bad, white boy. Here come these chicks, man. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> somebody, hey, somebody hide that gentle giant motherfucker. Here comes some bitches. <laughs> That giant. Hey, keep his ass at the hotel. I'm going out. Yeah. God damn it. Yeah. He's like, so he's like, he too far over. Slap that big tall motherfucker. You see, you know David Bird Jones because he's goofy as fuck. You know, he don't yeah. care. He says dumb shit all the time, and I laugh my ass off. But yeah, you're funny, you motherfucker. You can't hang around with Bodie and his crew saying dumb. No. Like, what if they was at a dice game? Yeah, Bird Jones would fuck it all up. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he'd have to turn and look at him. Hey, shut the fuck up. Get somebody, get his big ass out of here. <laughs> Kill sit in the back of the truck, motherfucker. Every every time I talk to Bodie, I feel like we're in some kind of deal, though. Like yeah, it's serious. Yeah, well, yeah you got to be yeah. real careful what you say because if you yeah, say yes, then you're gonna be locked in. If yeah. you say yes, then he's gonna. Show up, be like, I called him a couple weeks ago. I texted him. I said, "Hey, man, you got a minute?" And he talked to you about some so, because we have his old engine in Henson's car. I need to find what piston that was so I can get another one. And uh, he's like, "Yeah, let, let me let me check on that." <laughs> and and then I get a text back. Goes, "Oh, boy's gonna call you." <laughs> I was like, "All right, somebody gonna call you about three o'clock." <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, just play, just answer. play it cool. Old boy, gonna call you. Yeah. He's gonna ask for the white dumb bitch. And that's, yeah. you. <laughs> that's, that's you. That's you. Hey, make make sure you answer. <laughs> when he said, "I'm looking for the white dumb bitch," that's you. You only get one shot at this. And then throw the phone away. Don't fuck it up, white boy. Don't fuck it up. Oh fuck! I can't even imagine. I can't wait to see David Bird Jones and Bodie hanging out. Yeah. He probably got David Bird Jones and some corn rolls. Got his fucking braids all done. Probably got gold teeth. Man, wearing sweatpants. Where do you even find sweatpants like that? NBA. <laughs> he talked David Bird Jones into losing about two hundred pounds. Really? Have you seen him lately? Mm-hmm. Well, He's Kentucky's frame well, and eight Bodie, foot tall. Ah, damn. Bodie probably got him on the same diet all his chicks is on. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, man, my car's not set up for four hundred. <laughs> you too big for my car here. Yeah. My car's set up for one eighty five. You go eat with all the bitches. <laughs> <laughs> get over there, get, get over there, gentle giant, eat with the bitches. <laughs> yeah, you gotta sit at the little table, motherfucker. <laughs> Look, man, you don't had enough. Get up. <laughs> oh, fuck. David Bird Jones would fuck around, walk right through a dice game, kick the dice and money everywhere. Yeah. Bodie just Step fucking, right on him, be standing on him. Bodie just fucking looked at him. God damn, you dumb ass motherfucker. Oh, fuck, that's too goddamn funny. Bodie's going to kill me after this. Nobody tell Bodie, okay? Yeah. <laughs> don't nobody tell him. Yeah, y'all don't, y'all don't be fucking tagging him and shit. Don't, don't, that's what we call that, dry snitching. And Bodie, <laughs> Bodie don't even want to know. If you snitch to Bodie about me snitching on Bodie, he's still going to be mad at you for being a snitch. So remember that. <laughs> yep. Remember, before you call Bodie <laughs> yeah. a snitch, he's still ain't Don't even send that text yeah. message. Bodie, he going to always know Bodie, you're a snitch. Bodie going to be like, <laughs> Bodie going to be like, thanks for the info, you snitch motherfucker. <laughs> 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 it's funny because it's true. It's funny. And then if you have his number, he's gonna put snitch, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah dry yeah. snitch and white boy. Your name is gonna be snitch bitch. Yeah. Your name is gonna be fucking John Doe. <laughs> fucking bury your dumb ass. Uh, I like fuck. the voiceover you're doing of him. I yeah. can't help it, dude. His voice is so smooth. <laughs> no, the first time I met him, we was in California at Izzy's shop, and he comes rolling in there and and I was just like who is it, 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 I mean he looked like he looked like uh, what's that D what's that Billy D. Williams you know he come walking into Billy, Izzy shop looking at Billy D. Williams I was like who the fuck is this motherfucker <laughs> got the Allen Iversons in his ears and yeah, shit you know and, yeah he did and I was like damn I was like this motherfucker just cool as a fan he's like <laughs> I was like, what's up, man? I'm Chief. He said, what's up, big homie? <laughs> <laughs> Is we friends now? Yeah, I was like, all right, dude, you know. I was like, he looked like he just come from the gym. Yeah. You know, he's wearing sweatpants and a white t-shirt. Brand new white t-shirt. Brand new. Yeah. 
H- uh, Henson so, so he come walking Henson shops wearing brand new shoes he goes man you gonna get your shoes dirty he goes alright I got five more pairs in the truck yeah <laughs> Henson's like you got five pairs of shoes well the shoes he was wearing was just to go in the machine these are my machine shop shoes yeah. <laughs> hold up wait the machine shop let me put on my machine shop shoes <laughs> yeah. yep. got these new blue joints every, nice every one of his shirts is right out of the package too. <laughs> yep what would it be like to be like Bodie man god damn um, what a life so we went to, yeah so long story short we went to cash days yeah. and, uh, <laughs> sometimes sometimes you gotta go to cash days and hey I, there was some All the real time. street cats at cash days there was the the people my favorite my favorite you know of course aside from my normal favorites but my favorite of this one the MVP was the Arkansas crew yeah Precious. JJ and Precious yes dude that dude is something, something. He's something. something different. Something. I like that motherfucker, dude. Yeah. I talked to him for about five minutes and realized real quick that I like him. Yeah, he was I like, do. hey, man, get her information from Chief <laughs> and holler at me. He didn't, not his information, her information. Chief got her number. Get her number and holler at me, he <laughs> said. Like, at, w- the first time I met him... <laughs> She was like, hey, would you take a picture with me? And I was like, fuck yeah, you know? So she hands him the phone. He fucked that deal all up. Like, (laughs) he's got no fucking idea how to work a phone. No. So after five minutes of me sitting there with my arm around her waiting to take this fucking picture, finally somebody else had to come and do it. Yeah, well, you know, he's got that Metro PCS flip phone. Yeah. You know what I mean? It don't yeah. do all that. That cricket phone. Yeah. You got no apps. You know? That shit, <laughs> What's all your apps, in, man? In Dallas. My shit, my shit done. My, <laughs> my service don't reach this far. Yeah. I'm out of network. <laughs> out of range. About, yeah. After about 10 minutes of talking to him, I realized, and I can't even tell you what we talked about because it was real shit, but man, yeah. I like the fuck out of that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's cool, cool man. Fuck. And that chick could drive. God, she treat damn. your fucking ass too. I got fucked on the light, but oh, well, hold, but okay. she did. She did. She treated me. I even said that as soon as I got out. But man, I, <laughs> fucking, I couldn't see the light. It was it was over my hey, hood scoop. So I'm fucking strapping in the car, and I look over. She's in a full blown tank top. Yep. Shorts. Yep. Regular. I don't. I don't even know if she had shoes, yeah, on. shoes on. Just to, like. Just, you know, whatever Jellies. they were Jellies. I'm talking and straps in in that thing <laughs> Jellies, I heard that since like, 96 no fire suit like nothing no fire suit no. I'm like she don't give a fuck about nothing dude all she gives a fuck about is driving yeah she didn't put her helmet on? No, she did. Oh, okay. Yeah, she had a helmet say, on. Whoa, that's fucked up. No, she had a helmet on. Uh, but yeah, that I like that that whole crew. I like the way they did things. Yeah, they were cool. They were legit. Them. They didn't give a fuck. And I won a lot of money on her. So Yeah. Until she raced me. I didn't really bet on that one. I bet well, I bet five hundred on you. I was gonna say, yeah, you did. I did take some of JJ's money. It was funny, but every time he won a bet, he'd tell him he'd look him right in the eye and get real serious. He go, "You got something belongs to me." (laughs) (laughs) And I was like, "Oh shit, I don't want to be that guy." Yeah, he fucking walk right up to you. It's all fun and games until you lost the bet. He walk right up to you. You got something belong to me. I'm like, "Oh hell, this (laughs) motherfucker got something belong to JJ, (laughs) y'all." Yeah, yeah. hey, give me shit, man. Take that from him. So that, that yeah. was my; those are my MVPs. I like that. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was fucking cool. It was good shit. Good shit. I had a good sure. time, man. It, it was good to be back on fucking, you know. And Murder Nova showed up and did work. Went yeah. to the finals. We did pretty good. We caught a bad coin flip in the final. Spun the tires and um, <laughs> and lost. And we lost. <laughs> and we lost. This is what happened. We lost. And that little truck went. <laughs> Straight fucking also down through there, man. Head. You know, hey, he did what he had to do all fucking night. He went A to B, you know, and it just goes to show that the reason that we love cash days and we love the street shit, you know. He didn't bring fucking the biggest trailer. He didn't bring the biggest tire, the biggest cubic inch, none of that shit. And he fucking won cash days. No, that's cash days. You have to be able to do that. And, you know, when I first got there, JB told me which jb's old school cat you know jb told me he uh he won he won the winter nationals which was what went on in houston the year before we started cash days the winter nationals was like kind of what cash day stem in his from. old fucking his uh, chevy car. too yep and uh yeah, he uh he told me when i got there he said that his money was on marcus and i was like i don't even know who marcus is and he's like just watch he's he's gonna win this deal and i was like huh and hey sure enough there you go at yeah. least 
at least it was real street cats. A real street cat won yep. it at a real street race. You know what I mean? Like, yep. I like it. It was it was awesome. It put me in a great mood, except for the fact I didn't get to race in it. And now. If the rules are going to be that we can't race pro mods in cash days, then uh, I just spent $100,000 for no reason. Then Not a there damn ain't no thing. sense in having you a pro think, mod. You think Bodie will help me? I'll, I'll, take, you, you I'll take your pro mod. I think I should just call Bodie and be like, hey, man. I need a car. What about that Chevy 2, Bodie? They said, Big yeah. homie. They said, <laughs> they said I can't race in cash days no more. I'm real sad. Bodie, help me out. Maybe I'm real sad. Help me out. Bodie got one of them billet hemis and shit. Yeah, he... Well, Bodie likes the bling bling. <laughs> it's all billet underneath there. <laughs> all right. We got some letters from fans. We're going through. We got a lot of letters from fans. So we're going to, we're weeding through them here. Um, weed. This one is from, man, this could get real. This could get real. This is sensitive material, guys. It is. Watch what you say. Like, hey. This kid don't like reading. <laughs> we'll watch nice. what, okay. We'll let, we'll let McDougal read that one. But watch what you say about this one. Uh, Sean, this one is to you. It's from this. Oh. It's from the Special Olympics. They want me to be involved in that. Day? <laughs> I think that's your call. I think they're saying that you're. Uh... What do you mean to me? It says it says your name first, <laughs> Mr. Justin Shear and Mr. Sean Ellington. I think that they're uh, they're calling you up to the big leagues. <laughs> fucking hey, hey, I'll I'll go too, man. <laughs> Jeffy, I'll fucking go. <laughs> My name is Jeffy. Jeffy. <laughs> Oh God! Okay, so this one, uh, this one here, I got one here. It says, um, "Geez, I don't even understand." Uh, this one says, "It's from Dave in uh, Mich- Michigan." It says, "Dear Justin, Big Chief Sheer, I called yesterday and I talked to the young woman who answered the phone. Well, I would imagine if you talked to her, she probably answered the phone. Uh, I told her." Of your twitching problem you were having. What the fuck? You got a twitching problem? Y'all are my problem? fucking boys and you ain't told me I got a twitching you problem? You got a twitching problem? Do I have a twitching problem? You got a few ticks. Really? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, fuck you. You got a couple ticks. It says uh, Don Garretts had the same problem with his rear engine dragster at first. He could not fix it. His wife said, I guess you never will. This made him sad and he thought about it for a long time. What her came up with was lengthening the steering arm to slow down how fast the front wheels turned. Oh, twitching in my car. The front engine cars turned slower for some reason. The rear engine reacted faster. Slowing down the steering fixed the problem. It might help you to slow down your steering by well, changing you changing the, the gearing in your rack and pinion. There you go. I hope you received the 1997... WDC posters and bumper stickers I sent. You should have 25 of each in a cardboard tube. They were a gift to you. That's a box. Huh. Did you get those? You I need, did, you Dave. You 25 of them, I huh? did. I got them, Dave. Thank you for those. They're, well, they're amazing. These fuckers aren't going <laughs> to let me fucking compete in the Special Olympics. <laughs> they want some goddamn money. Oh, they want you to donate? No, they want me to donate. Things. I want to win that motherfucker. If I'm, if I'm going to be in it, I'm going to win. What was that movie, The Ringer? Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's what we said. <laughs> Jeffy. <laughs> Jeffy's. Uh, okay, so now we've talked about dead people, people and, special and the Special Olympics. The eights of listeners, thank you for staying with us. This is why we're going to hell. Um, uh, this, one, this kid's 14, Austin Shepard. Lives in a small town an hour and 30 minutes south of Kansas City. So, nowhere. You literally live. It's like Ponca City. He lives nowhere. Where? If you live an hour and 30 minutes south of Kansas City, oh, yeah. you live That's nowhere. That's like Coffeeville area. You don't even <laughs> You don't even get a town. That's why he didn't put his town on here. Because he, there is no <laughs> you got to name your town in relationship to the biggest it's, town. It's not on the map. It says, I'm a big fan of the show that you're not supposed to talk about. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> I love the podcast. I've listened to every single podcast over a hundred times at least. I'm listener eight. Well, that's oh. good because you're the end. Good. He's the last you're one. You're the last one. <laughs> I started listening to the podcast when episode five went up. I sadly have not got to listen to the infamous episode number three. Uh, <laughs> that's a good one. That uh, was a damn this good kid's one. 14. Who the fuck lets their 14-year-old listen to this show? Or whatever we call my it. My 14-year-old probably will. Yeah. But I'm a huge fan I don't of have cars. A 14-year-old. I can't wait to get my permit. My family's really big into street racing. Well, you're in fucking nowhere. 
That's all you can do out there. They race to the store and shit. It's flat as fuck, too, probably. My brothers and I have practically grew up in the garage. My dad and his friends always had street cars. My dad had a 77 Caprice with a 400 small block board 30 over to a 406 with dart heads. At least he nailed that. That's big correct. Body with the big body. Gotta have that 400. The box. In my box, Chevy. Yeah. Uh, my dad had to get rid of that car when my brothers and I came around. So see, there you go, Austin. You're the goddamn reason your old man can't street race no more. <laughs> I hope you know that, you little motherfucker. I hope you feel good about it. <laughs> I hope you feel good about that. Your dad had a 77 fucking Caprice with a 400 till your ass came along. Yeah. Remember that shit. Yeah. When you get old enough to have a job, you make some money, get his ass a car. Yeah. Build one together. Yeah, do something. Go around playing video games, and all the old man can think about is when his glory days in that Caprice yep. had to get rid of it because of you. <laughs> Diapers and shit. Um, I think the Crow Mod's a sexy beast. It's going to destroy the list. <laughs> and Big Headed Doc. Fucking hey, this kid's awesome. Yep. I'm going to be honest. People think Chuck's car. I'm going. I'm going to be honest. People think Chuck's scary. I think you are more scary than Chuck when you get mad. I thought it was funny when you told Doc to get the fuck out of the driver's truck, and he said no, and you were like, "Oh, really?" <laughs> <laughs> People thought it was mean, and I'm sitting there laughing because. You made it where it wasn't fun for him. <laughs> <laughs> this is a yeah, that yeah. kid's cool. Um, He's damn sure listened to all of them. I'm going to tell you, I know you were trying to be nice to that big guy at American Outlaws Live when he kept talking about the crow, and I would have probably only told him twice, and then I would have laid him out. So I he was there, too. how he felt about me wadding up his jaw. Wow. He was Austin, in the crowd whenever Austin you got into it with that guy? No joke, too. He won't wad somebody's That's jaw. That's not the... That, Whenever I meet, whenever I meet that, hmm. Oh, whenever I build that Impala with my dad, I'm gonna drive it to Oklahoma and meet you guys. And then he put in parentheses, not M E A T. <laughs> this kid's on it. 14? Yeah, dang, this, Come kid, on. this kid's going places. Yeah, that's fucking. Think awesome. about it, Austin. One day you could have your own podcast that nobody listens to. Um, I wish I could go to one of your street races. I'm into drawing right now, and I'm drawing the crow. When I get it done, I'll frame it, and I hope it's good enough for you to hang it up on your wall in your office. I also wanted to see if you and Sean send me a photo, and there you go. Always asking for shit. You was doing fine, Austin. Now you're going to ask me for something. Send me a photo of your guys' autographs so I can hang it up in my room. There's nothing that make me happier to hear you guys read my letter on the Chief and Sean show. That would mean that we're, hey, dude. There it is. How lucky did he just get? Yeah. It was so long, I almost didn't read it. <laughs> Um, we like a couple one-liners. Well, there you go, Austin. Uh, Phantom, have somebody fake me and sign a signature on a picture and send it to him when you get yep. a chance. Yep. So Break out the stamp. <laughs> get the stamper out. <laughs> stamp that shit. Um, this one is... This one's, look this like one's from Jade. It's missing half a page. From Jade? Okay. Jade. Well, then we're just not going to read it. Oh, this is from Jade Elizabeth Villanueva. Who? Villanueva. Oh. Villanueva. Villanueva. My name is Jade. I'm seven and a half. Whoa. Oh. Got the half in there. Well, you ain't seven no more, are you? How are you feeling? I hope your back is feeling better. Aw. I was sad when I watched your car wreck. Yeah, me too. I hope to see you race again, times. but please be careful. I live in the 559. But on Mondays, it's all about the 405. Nice. Best wishes, Jade. And then there's a little heart. Aww. It says, tell Sean I want to drive his car it's so fast you don't want to drive that car yeah yeah <laughs> i'm not real sure you wait till he gets a new one it's safer looking what you got over there monkey you got anything good nothing they're asking for things ask oh. what are they asking oh. for let me see why would people call to ask for things oh <laughs> what do you got over there, uh, man? Mean, mine's hard to read, but there's a paragraph I want to point out. <laughs> read <here>. that. Par- <laughs> Let's do that then. This one from Haddon Haddon M. Hines. It's really tough to read on some of it, but uh, <laughs> I'll read the last paragraph. He's like, he thinks the new sharks is a good idea. This season should be a good one. There's gonna be fights. I don't like Reaper as much. He's so cocky. I like his car. But on 5 16, 2016, I kind of hope it would blow up. <laughs> it did. 
Uh, the rest of it's really tough to read, but basically he likes you, likes Chief. Cool. Don't like Reaper. I like people and stuff, too. Um... Okay, so this one, this one looks it very. It looks skeptically like a uh, jail letter, and we all know that the jail letters get read. And because one day the things that we do for recreation could put us in jail, and we damn sure don't want the one that had the time to sit down and write us a letter mad for all the time that they are waiting on us to come to jail. I wrote you a letter. <laughs> this one's from uh, Jame. Jame? I don't know. Help me. Someone help me. Jame? Four, J-A-I-N-E. Four, four, Jame 02050203. Jame. I don't know if it's Jame or Jamie. That's but Jamie. There's no, it's an E on the end. Jame. Yeah. J-A-I-M-E. That'd be Jime. It's Jamie. Jamie? Mm-hmm. You pronounce the E? But you don't, what about in the word same? You don't say samey. Some people do. Yeah, but it has Mimi. an I. But, but it has Mimi. an I before. Mimi. Mimi. <laughs> we say Mimi. <laughs> I before the, yeah, okay. Anyway, <laughs> this guy says, Dear Big Chief and Sean, Hey guys, what's up? I'm a big fan. I always saw your show and listens to your podcast. Before I was put in and locked up. But I call my sister, sister, I call my sister and have her update me on the show and podcast. Being locked up sucks. I bet it fucking does. And I hope and pray. I'm with you, buddy. You never have to be in a place like this. Me too. But, you know, everything points to we will. Yeah. (laughs) Things aren't looking good. I mean, I'm just saying, like, you know, whatever. I'm working on an appeal. I'm trying to clean my name. Clear my name. Or if that don't work, at least reduce my time they gave me. Either way, like I said, I'm a fan. I like the show. I love the cars. I was hoping if y'all could send me a pic of, or two of y'all in front of y'all's cars, if y'all can. I think we can, Jamie. Jamie. Jamie James. <laughs> Let's call you Jamie James. Let's call him Jay. Jay Jay. We'll stand in front of real hood too. Yeah, yeah. You know, lean down and stuff. We're, we're uh, both starting to send me a good. letter with some with some gold chains. If you want, at least send me a letter. Whatever you want. I hope and pray my appeal works so I can be home soon. But for now, I just have to have faith. I'm not getting preachy. I'm just saying either way. One of the thing on my list when I got out is to find an old school Pontiac because I love Pontiac. My dad used to have one. It lasted a long time and it was a fun car to drive. Find a Pontiac and fix it up so I can race Chief in it. That'd be fun. So, yeah, I hope to get something from y'all soon. <laughs> it's on its way. Y'all keep it. Rookin', rickin', rogin', rockin', and rollin'. Nice. <laughs> well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And thanks for reading this letter. God bless. Your fan, 0205-0203, Jamie Jame Corona. Jamie Jame. <laughs> this one right here, I don't. It, it doesn't have an age on it. I really wish that it did because there's an age limit there where you can say, ah, she's young. But if there's no age limit on it, I would laugh about this, right. this one. Right. She loves you. Well, they all do, baby. Uh, dear Chief. Oh, wow. There's yeah, stuff no, that everywhere. That was just to you. Dear Chief, you are awesome. So is the crow. My family and I enjoy watching Street Outlaws. What's this person's name? First name? Uh, oh, Be- Becca. Be- Becca. Becca Pike. Dear, well, now everybody knows who the fuck she is. Well, that's all right. <laughs> if there is an age eight limit, people, then Eight people know. <laughs> eight people know. Well, Austin used to. He's, he ain't going to listen no more because we talk, made fun of him. Uh... <laughs> My family and I enjoy watching Street Outlaws every week. On all of the Street Outlaws I've ever watched, you are my favorite. The Crow is still my favorite car. The Crow is awesome. I'm sorry your crash happened. I have that episode on record trying to figure out what happened. Wow. I live in Indiana. Brian hit him. (laughs) When you revealed the Crow mod, I was mad because I had school. Or I would have been up there to 
Yes, yes, yes. To what? To what? <laughs> hang on, hang on. To what? Oh. To what? <laughs> oh, my God. How old is she? <clears throat> no. hey, that's was... why I can't hey, laugh. Because, gonna, hey, Becca, dude, she could be 18. really young. Becca, everyone, Becca is, that, is 18. Yes. I was so mad I had school or I would have been up there to meet you in person. M-E-A-T. <laughs> Maybe she's packing something. (laughs) Street Howl is an awesome TV show. Now school is out and I can stay up and watch Street Howl. Okay, well that shows you right there she ain't fucking old enough, asshole. Hey, I don't know. Now school is out. Sean came and read. He was looking at the pictures. You know, maybe she got held back. (laughs) Maybe she's in junior college. She might be huge. (laughs) She might be in junior college. You never know. (laughs) She could be at Rose State right now. Now school is out. I can stay up and watch the outlaws. I wish I could get something signed from you. Everybody wants something. I know. If all possible. Would you mind writing back? That would be awesome. And I w- and it would make me really happy. P.S. How is your car? Or how is your back? Sincerely, a 14-year-old fan. Oh, God damn it, Sean. You could have hey, proofread that before I, I said terrible that. things about Becca. Oh, this is a... This is a loyal supply bill, right? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that thing. It says, I listened to the podcast. Great. Great. Fucking great. God damn it. Son of a... Way to fuck that up, Sean. I was going to look at that one with the Elvis stamp on it, because I really wanted to look at that, but it says Chief real big on it. Oh, so, really? Yeah, that's There's you. an Elvis stamp? Yeah, do, do, do the one with the Elvis stamp. Okay. That's got to be good, that's man. That's McKenzie. Well, did you already read that one? No. Well, this one's from Oklahoma. This one's from Moore. This one's from right down the road. Uh-oh. They could possibly drive here and kick our ass. <laughs> yeah, we should be real careful because they could possibly just drive up here and shoot at our exactly. shop like everybody else does. Yep. Um, yeah, I'll probably read this one later because you just never know. Um, oh, wow, this one is a uh, the professional wrote this one. Uh, yeah. Phantom can edit this downtime. Yes. Um. Oh yeah. Where's the Elvis one? Oh, here it is. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna read this one. Just okay. some. Yeah. No. Okay. It wants to do something for the Boy Scouts. Yeah, I, I did something for the Boy Scouts. I didn't didn't I join. Left them alone. Yeah. <laughs> didn't join. <laughs> didn't beat them up. <laughs> no, I quit. I quit before I ruined their good name. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> before you got them into the street yeah, racing. They're like, they like, what do you mean you got to join? I was like, be prepared. <laughs> <laughs> Always prepared. Yeah. I'm a motherfucking red tail hog scout. <laughs> red tail hog scout. <laughs> scout them all. Uh, this one's from Mackenzie. Dear Chief, I'm a huge fan of you and the show. My brother and sister is also a huge fan of you in the show. Me and my family always watch the show. And that is my favorite show. My mom and dad love you too. I'm also a huge fan of the Murder Nova. Hey. What? My brother loves your car. I do too. My sister and mom loves your car. <laughs> yep. Dad loves Sean's car. <laughs> <laughs> That's about how that deal works out. You see you see the pattern yeah. there? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> My dad and grandpa love Sean's car. <laughs> and all my uncles love Sean's car. My aunts love your car, Chief. Uh, I see there's a pattern there. Sean attracts the dudes. I do. My no, brother told me to put this in the letter that he would love to drive your car. And I mean literally. He always talks about he would love to drive. And he loves how fast it is. Sincerely, Mackenzie. Nick is my brother. Samantha is my sister. Darnell is my dad. Uh-oh. Wanda Uh-oh. is my mom. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. Where are they, where are they from? I just love Big Chief. Where are they from? Uh, Southside. Atlanta? <laughs> <laughs> I was just wondering. Hey. It was a legit question. No, it wasn't. Yeah, was. You condescending <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> fucking, fucking you. In today's day and age, I we, was you, just wondering. You fuck, you motherfucker. <laughs> you associate with me and say some dumb shit. Like, what, what would make you guess Atlanta, motherfucker? Oh, 
Oh, I'm Darnell and Wanda. <laughs> I can't hang out with you no more. <laughs> Bodie. Oh, you hear what he shit. said? Shit. Bodie, good coming back. What's your problem? Hey, <laughs> hey little homie. What you mean, you shit. people? <laughs> He'd be laughing his ass off right pump, now. Pump your brakes, kids. <laughs> <laughs> what you trying to say? <laughs> what you trying oh. to say, boy? Shoo. Okay, so this one is from Floyd Knobs. I know where the I know where Floyd Knobs is. I, I used to live down the road from there. Floyd Knobs, Indiana. Dear Big Chief and Sean, I hope everything's going well with the cars and the families. My name is Rex. Fuck yeah, Rex is a cool name. Yep. And I'm from Southern Indiana, three miles north of Louisville. For all you people that don't know how to read, Louisville spells Louisville. Okay, I'm 15 year old, and I would just like to thank you. But that would be a bit of an understatement. So what do you, you, you want to do, Rick? He wants to do more than thank you. <laughs> you going to send me a picture? Yeah. <laughs> or are you going to ask me for a picture? Yeah, all these people asking us for shit. And maybe, we ain't got one picture. Rex is going to send us a picture. Yeah. I, no, we did get a picture. Hang on. We did? Yep, yep, hang on. Um, I've recently switched schools, and I've been going through a really tough time lately. God, Rex, I'm sorry. How old is Rex? About the same age you quit school, right? No. He switched school. He didn't quit school. Well, yeah, but... But yeah, I, I switched. But he's having a rough but time. But I had a rough time. And, and know, I'd be, he, I'd, why did you quit school? Because it was rough. Street he's racing. having a rough fucking time. <laughs> street racing. He was 15 and you just got your new car. <laughs> and the street racing And the street guy. racing's got him. <laughs> and then first just yeah. driving your new car. Hey, why aren't you in math class? I got the street racing. Yeah, no, you got the street racing. Yeah. I've uh, been through a really tough time. There's only been one thing that's made me laugh, and that is your podcast. Well, you got a fucked up sense of humor, Rex. <laughs> yep. Sure, I like. He's, he's well on his yeah. fucking way. <laughs> sure, I like the show, but it doesn't really show who you guys are. The podcast does, and that's why I love it. You guys always put a smile on my face with the podcast because of the funny things you say. Also, I'd like to thank you for getting me into racing. Shit. My bad, Shit. Rex. <laughs> My bad. Rex. Hey, you race got on, him. Rex. Sometimes you, you right race the, a motherfucker, man. You hit him right with and the having, street racing. <laughs> yeah. And having a big uh, influence on... Um, what? Having a big... Oh, and having a big influence on my defiant... Definite. 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 And then he put shoot next to it and wrote shoot. an arrow. <laughs> Because he spelled it wrong. He put shoot. <laughs> yeah, and he knew, and he knows. But he, but he ain't gonna swear. Yeah, but he knew. He <laughs> but, knew what we was gonna say on that. Raise no, his mom didn't raise no heathen. He ain't no, gonna swear and say no. shit. He put shoot. Not yet. He's only fifteen. Definite biggest hobby when I grow older: racing. Period. Nice. I've been listening. <laughs> What? What? That's a good, I love it. When, that's a good hobby. I love it when Sean gives me the nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, I've been listening to the podcast since day one, and I'm an original. If you're ever in Louisville and you need anything, let me know. I was just there, and I did need some shit. So I don't think that you could have helped me with that. <laughs> you probably, at 15, you probably didn't have the things I needed. <laughs> um, thank you for everything. Thank you for nothing, Rex. Just kidding. Thank you for everything. I know that you always get asked for stuff, but if you get time... I know how busy you are with the car to send me anything, anything at all with a signature or anything to look at. God damn it, Rex. And know that I will soon be in the racing community. Oh, so he's going to let us know. We're going to see him one yeah, day. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. You guys are some of the best people in the world at what you do and the greatest guys, period. I will leave some information down below in the hopes that you may send me a message or follow me. Thanks for everything. Rex. P.S. Episode 12 is my favorite. Which one was episode 12? No fucking idea. I don't remember. God damn it. Where's Phantom? Where's our fucking producer? He told me to push the button when we're done, and he bounced. Really? I hope one day I'll get to meet y'all. Were boring him. And then there's his Instagram, phone number, email, Gmail, link. Wow. I mean, it's all of his stuff here. Nice job, Rex. Uh, there Except you go. for the asking. Yes, a for follow stuff. on Instagram would make my life. Make his life? Well, he's still young. His life, though. He, he's still young. Make his life. Where's our picture? We did get a picture. Where? Let me see that picture. Oh, here it is. It's right, right here in the file of pictures. It is a picture of the Cromod. I give That's you the Cromod. Pretty close. 
Fuck you. Wheels looks, looks the same you. and everything. Fuck you. It looks. Fuck look you. how long that nose is. Fuck you. He's got the nose fuck part. You, perfect. He's got the aerodynamics y'all, part y'all, down. Y'all, y'all kiss my ass. It <laughs> looks like a pro mad. Yeah, it, <laughs> it looks like a pro mad. <laughs> that looks like any fucking pro mad that you could go see at an NHRA event. Yep. Fuck and the look of that nose. <laughs> Some bitch ain't that thick. This, one's from, <laughs> yeah. this is from Gavin. Nice drawing, Gavin. Hey, at least he didn't ask us for none. Yep. Let me see. <laughs> Take a look at that thing. Nailed it, Gavin. Oh, he's got an Instagram too. Uh, here's one from um, Harrison. Oh, last name though. Fife. As in Barney? Barney Fife. I spelled my name wrong. Big Chife. I'm your biggest fan. Bullshit, Harrison. Or you'd know how to spell my fucking name. If you're my biggest fan. You would know how to spell my name. Yep. Man, I can't even spell that. I have to agree on that deal. And he can write in cursive, so it ain't like he's seven or something. You know he I mean? might be seven. They start cursive You're in like third grade. The- huh? I was watching Billy Madison the other day, and in the third grade is whenever they were doing cursive. Yeah, third yeah, grade. maybe a one letter at a time. This guy can no, write they, full things in cursive. No, they, they full on write cursive. Remember Bunt and can Buzz. But Rizzuto. Rizzuto. I bet Harrison could do the Q. I can't even do the Q. The Z. The Z. What is that? <laughs> it's a Z. It's a Z. Uh, I want Rizzuto. Oh, here, here we go. Harrison, fuck you. How about that? I don't care how old you are. <laughs> He's a too big chive. Hi, my name is Harrison. I'm your biggest fan. I want pictures of the top 10 cars and farm truck. Holy shit. He wants a lot of stuff. That's 11 pictures. Not anymore. <laughs> Damn. Does he continue on with more stuff that he wants? Um, no, then he gives me all of his info. Oh, that's it. Where to send those no. 11 pictures? That's it. All he, want, he wanted to spell my name wrong, tell me he's my biggest fan, but he wants pictures and of all the wants, top 10. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry about that, buddy. Pow. Yeah. And hey, pal. That's not going to happen. And then it says that he's nine. Fuck. He's nine. You were cussing out a nine-year-old? Sorry, Harrison. My son's older than that kid. Come on. Yeah, well, I'd tell your son, fuck you, too. Well, he would probably tell you, fuck off. No, he'd probably cry. (laughs) He he probably would. (laughs) (laughs) would. He's your your biggest fan. He'd spell your name right, though, God damn it. Yes, he would. So the rest of these just people wanting money, huh? Yes. I wouldn't open them. This one you're going to open them? Yes. All right, so we don't have it. So that's it. That's it, man. That's it. We're done. We can go. Um, yeah, often, for- I want to apologize because I see our producer left, and your note is not in a good place right now. <laughs> so I'm not. Oh I'm, shit! I'm, I'm not really sure that that is the place for notes that are getting things sent to them. So sorry, man, but. You know, you shouldn't have made your dad sell that car by being born. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>